we're back now with our salute all this week to the extraordinary essential workers helping the rest of us make it through this coronavirus emergency. Meet Carlos Mohammed of Montclair State University. Campus is closed, but there are still hundreds of key personnel and some students remaining, all relying on this executive chef for survival. Hi, I'm uh, Chef Carlos Mohammed. I'm the executive chef of residential dining at Montclair State University in New Jersey. And I run three full service uh, cafes on campus. We were closed for spring break and the majority of resident students went home, which was kind of a blessing in disguise because that's when they decided to really shut down the campus and extend spring break for another week. The students that were still on campus, which we have about 400 students still on campus, our day-to-day -day number that we serve varies. We started doing things with smaller staff and limited food options, which we steadily decreased as the uh, pandemic worsened. We're also serving some facilities, workers, and police officers, and other essential personnel. Being on campus right now is a bit surreal. You know, I'm so used to uh, arriving in the morning, and even if I'm arriving early, it's just constantly busy like a beehive. Parking lots are full, shuttle buses picking up and dropping off people everywhere, and to come on now and just see none of that. It's just me coming on the campus to an empty parking lot and you know, walking into my facility where the majority of the facility is, is shut down as if we're shut down for the, uh, for the summer. It's, uh, it's very eerie to have such a limited amount of students coming through here and still seeing just an empty facility. It's, uh, it's, it's different. Working in these uh, current times, in this current situation, it is uh, a scary endeavor. You know, every day that we, we come out, we are taking some semblance of risk. Any type of interaction outside of the house is always kind of taking your life in your hands. I'm always fearful of bringing something home. But to be a part of these essential frontline workers gives you some pride and we're really honored and grateful to be here right now to help in any possible way that we can. It's just nice to, you know, be here to help and to try and do our part. And he certainly is doing more than his part. We thank Carlos Mohammed, executive chef of residence dining at Montclair University for all of his incredible and tireless work keeping people who need him most fed.